we have to remember we are a restorationist movement not a sectarian violent breed of believers closet terrorists in fact mercy he called called us closet terrorists in fact let me tell you something i want to be very candid if i'm labeled such for living and teaching the three angels messages i'm in good company safe to serve international you're also in good company do you know what they labeled christ a terrorist in luke 23 verse 1 and verse 2 they said jesus is perverting the nation what would we call that today january 6 insurrectionist extremist terrorist are we together my friends all right and what did they say to get Christ to be crucified? This man said he would destroy the temple in three days. You see my point now? So what would we call that today? If people were planning to destroy a public building of the government and church, you see my point? We're in good company. Though, although Christ was not an extremist, neither a terrorist. Acts 24, verse number 5, what did they label? Even Paul, the same. And we are told, listen, Ganundia, you are violent. You are terrorists. That's what he said. And people in the chat said, Mr. Diop is a man of God. Ted Wilson sat there and heard and watched this video presentation. Afterwards, Diop came to the podium and spoke. And not one hand was raised in dissent. What do you mean by these people are violent and terrorist? Explain yourself. They all sat there and they gave a run of applause. Amen. Next agenda item. Treason. And we're told in selected messages, pardon me, volume 3, page 281. If God abhors one sin above another of which his people are guilty is doing nothing in the case of an emergency indifference and neutrality in a religious crisis is regarded by god as a grievous crime and is equal to the worst type of hostility against god those who say i agree with these statements you are a part of the problem and God will so move you out the way. So we should have nothing to do with the ways of evil, with the violence, with the accusing other people, but rather we are witnesses, not even God's lawyers, witnesses sharing the good news. Jesus says in Matthew 10 verse 34 onward, think not that I'm come to bring peace, right? But a what? A sword. If you accuse other people's faith, you are violent. My friends, here is my second star witness. It's the same theme from Pope Francis. Look at this. We have far more to fear from within than from without. These men are a Trojan horse. Pope Francis, there it is, friends. If you speak against my church, if you accuse someone's faith, you are violent. Here is the Pope. And you deserve persecution's punch. Here's Pope Francis. Hear what he says. Read the words if you don't speak his language. Abbiamo l'obbligo de dire con apertamente avere questa libertà, ma senza offendere. Perché è vero che non si può reagire violentamente, ma se il dottor Gasparri, grande amico, mi dice una parolaccia contro la mia mamma, ma gli aspetta un pugno. Ma è normale. È normale. Yes. You receive. Non si può provocare, non si può insultare la fede degli altri. Look at that. If you provoke, if you speak truth about someone's faith, the Pope says you'll receive the Pope's persecution's punch. <laughs> 